Hey my friends, great to have you back! Ready to dive into the realm of creativity? Today we are flipping the script and crafting our own 3D battle maps. But before we get our hands dirty, let's gather our tools. A good artist always needs top-notch brushes, right? In our case, that's the Unity 3D 2021.3 editor. All the links you need are down in the description. To avoid any problems, we will download the exact version, 27F1 Infinite Realms was built with from Unity's archive. Finally, we need some Unity modules. We are cross-platform folks. You may want to share your creations and that is why our scripts are compiling them with both Mac and Windows support when they are ready to ship. Make sure to download or clone the IR Scene project from our GitHub repository. It's like the secret sauce to our burger. It has all the necessary ingredients to get started. A demo scene and all required scripts for building the IR Scene file. What's this, you ask? Nope, it's not the sound you make when you fed one too many beers. It stands for Unity's Universal Render Pipeline, our trusted graphical workhorse that helps us create visually stunning battle maps. It is but one of several options one can take when creating a Unity project. And this is what Infinite Realms runs on. Now a word to the wise. Don't tinker with the URP settings in the project. Trust me, this can lead to some serious side effects when you want to fire up your scene in Infinite Realms later on. But back to topic. Remember to check for URP compatibility when you're asset hunting in Unity's asset store. There's a lot of stuff out there that only supports the old built-in or the high definition render pipeline, HDRP, and may not be easy to convert. All right, enough chit chat, let's dive in. If you've never touched Unity before, fear not. We've all been there. Just remember that Rome wasn't built in a day and neither will your map. Check out the basic Unity design resources down in the description. There's some information on how to create terrain, place objects and dodge some issues you may have. Ready to get started? Great! Just fire up Unity and open the IR Scene project. If your Unity version doesn't get along with the project, don't worry, Unity will give you a heads up. Next up, load the demo scene, Dark Lands. Feel free to use it as a sandbox or a starting point for your own masterpiece. It's like having an artist's sketch to color in. You can add your own 3D models or just play around with the existing ones. It's your world, your rules. Just remember to keep things in scale. We wouldn't want a castle the size of a thimble, would we? So let's get a bit technical for a moment. One unity unit is one meter or roughly three feet in the scene. For reference, you can temporarily create a capsule in your scene and scale it to 1.8 on the y-axis to represent a big human. When the compiled scene is loaded into infinite realms, the camera view will initially be placed at x0, z0 and y20 something, depending on the player screen settings. The ground level in infinite realms can be set between y0 and y-50, so it is a good idea to roughly limit your terrain to these vertical constraints. Otherwise, you may produce too many unplayable areas or big hills poking out of the grid. The horizontal playable area is 250 by 250 units, 125 in every direction from the center starting point. In our own workflow, we create a central 300 by 300 terrain place at x minus 150, z minus 150. This center terrain will be painted and set up in detail to look pretty in 3D view, even near the edges. Then we surround the area with more terrain tiles on all sides that have less detail. This gives the scene more depth and can block direct view on the empty horizon using hills, mountains and trees. Well, if that was a bit too much all at once, you can also come back to the written version of this walkthrough on our create page, link in the description. Once you are happy with your creation, it's time to pack it all up into a neat little bundle. Just hit Infinite Realms, complete scene build in the menu bar. Go make yourself a cup of coffee, this may take a minute. Here we go! You've got your own IR scene file in the assets output folder. Load it up in Infinite Realms and watch your creation spring to life. Remember, the goal here is to let your creativity run wild. 
share your creation with the Infinite Realms community on Discord. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Oh, and here is my latest developer vlog if you want to keep me talking. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay creative and see you in the realms.